Hello there and welcome. If you enjoy Sims stories, Sims challenges and in general destruction, mayhem and hell for the Sims then you are in the correct place. So this is a multi-generational challenge where you're going to take your Sim from the Stone Age all the way through to the future eras. However, I have added in stories and events that are going to happen. You're going to use a dice roll as well. So everything is so flexible. I have made sure there is base game throughout this entire challenge as well, so that no matter how many packs you have, there is something you can do because you have to have the base game to play. <laughs> so there is something for everyone in this challenge. So there are gonna be three timestamps for you guys. There is gonna be one for the website where you can find this challenge. I have created this challenge using loads of different challenges and that's all explained on the website. The second one is we're going to have a look at the families and the law of the world and then in the third we're going to do a meet and greet with our sims, our matriarchies of this entire challenge. <laughs> okay then so here we are on the website. This is where it all starts for you guys if you want to do this challenge yourselves if you just want to watch on then that is fine skip on to the second timestamp where you can see all the other families and the law so here we are we have the stone age I have done four videos previously going through the introduction the world setup where you can find all the custom content and mods that you could possibly want that is all uh, linked down below if you want to see that. Okay, so Stone Age, here we are. Now this, as I said before, this challenge takes on many different challenges. This takes on the History Challenge, the Great British Sim Challenge, the Legacy Challenge, the 100 Baby Challenge. You could even incorporate into this if you wanted to do 100 babies throughout the generations. Um, rags to riches elements there's everything in this okay so we have the era rules as you would expect so we have there's no jobs any plants you find you can harvest and grow no pregnancy tested tests until the era says no children going to school or teens you can cancel this or you can use mods uh, a suggestion is to grab some shelves or to craft a bunker basement or something like that. Um, there's chests as well where you can place all your items so that all your collections, because you will complete everything in this challenge. Through this challenge, you're going to complete every single element of every single pack and expansion pack and everything. Everything is here. So uh, you're gonna have lots of momentums. You can only try for a baby or you can use mods that have a risky woohoo element. Again, check out the video that has all of that, all the mods that you can use. Then there's your starters. You can start with just your tent, campfire and bush for, or a toilet. Uh, if you want to, otherwise uh, you can set up a whole base, a whole, whole lot for yourself. You should probably add a swimming pool with a bathtub. There are some natural looking ones if you have things like outdoor retreat. Um, and that's just going to mean that your pets can bathe if you have pets. <laughs> Next, we have the, the cheats that you can use when building and things and how to use them, as well as making sure you have money zero when you start this challenge. Okay, then you have off the grid, creepy crawlies and simple living for Stone Age. They're the ones that make the most sense. You're going to have to deal with bugs regularly, spiders potentially killing you as well. Um, the simple living, you can only use what's in your inventory. Now that really helps as well with them roasting the wrong things on campfires and stuff. Because that's frustrating when you're trying to record, for instance, and your sims are roasting marshmallows. And then off the grid, of course, there's no electricity. Simple as that. 
Okay, so the essential items are here. These are the items that you need to start with. However, you can have a lot more items, anything that fits with it aesthetically, you can use. Or if you just wanna use it, you can use it. You can stick to these goals as rigid as you want or as flexible as you want. Have fun with it and do what you want to do. Some of you may like goals, be goal orientated. I personally can be quite goal orientated. So we have the angling ace and the fishing skill. Um, they work quite well together. You can't get everywhere so the fishing collection isn't there until later because you need the handiness skill to get to certain places. You're only going to be surviving on fish until your plants start growing and you can get some harvestables. You're gonna have to fish to survive and you're gonna have so many fish on a stick. It's gonna be crazy. I will be bringing back the fish on a stick counter. You guys really enjoyed it in the previous series, uh, the making money challenge. And I just kept saying over and over again, you guys loved it. So I'm gonna bring the fish on a stick counter back. Probably starting from this episode. So if it's going up down in the corner, fish on a stick, then <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Okay, so next we have the fitness skill. Now there's events in this and one of those events is every time your sim gives birth, you need to roll a dice. And if uh, you get a one, then your sim's gonna die. So you, you, the odds are in your favor. There's a one in six chance every time you roll that your sim's gonna die. But to combat that, obviously survival of the fittest, so we have the fitness skill, so we've got that in there straight away. Get your sim, female sim to level five fitness skill, and if you rolled a one on the first try, you get to re-roll. That's right, re-roll. And if you get her to level 10 fitness, then there is no roll because she is the fittest she could possibly be. Okay, next we have pets. Now, if you have the pet, uh, cats and dogs expansion pack, fantastic, you can use this. And pets are a great way to protect your land. Wolves were there and wolves helped early human to survive the wilderness and to find food. And so that is why we have them there. I've got some really cool stories of how we're gonna have them sort of uh, the second wolf integrate. Uh, you can start off with a, uh, with a wolf. So I do have um, a my male sim, my female sim, and a wolf. Okay, then you have the collections, and so in this re this part we have the feather collection. Dogs are a pain in the backside, especially if you have a bush for peeing in. They are going to collect so many feathers. You can complete this easily, and then you have the shell collection, and again. This is if you are starting in Solani, and it does stay that if you are in Solani, collect all the shells. You may as well, life was fairly boring in the era, but also because they will, on their own, just randomly start to, they will be having a conversation and they will start collecting the shells because this is the ninth time now that I am restarting my challenge. <laughs> Uh, so events and deaths are kind of tied in together, but I have put on the website in red if there is death, because I know it will upset some people, especially with some of the mothering deaths and things like that. So it's in red. You now know, disclaimer, it's in my series, so I'm not gonna disclaim every time it happens. If you don't like it, then don't watch it. No hard feelings, I love you guys all the same. So the event would be the mother is giving birth and then, then they would potentially pass away. Also, when a toddler ages to a child, you also do the dice roll. Okay, so in this era, females are sort of, we're gonna be gatherers and mothers and feeders. Well, our male sims, they will be doing the brunt of the fighting. Um, there are also story elements. So maybe you are one of those people that love stories and you just wanna play with stories. The war one would come in handy for that. 
but also you could ha taking stories from Stone Age. So uh, you got the Bible and we're using parts of that. So you could have a female sim become a kleptomaniac who could go to other clans and steal food. Or you, and you could also have two siblings fighting. You could even name them Abel and Cain and then have one kill the other. Um, the other mods that you could use is extreme violence. So you actually had that as a possibility. Um, those sorts of things. Uh, there's going to be so much more added to this, especially uh, by the time this video goes up. Now, we have spoken about the website long enough. We know the goals that we are going to be doing. So I'm not going to come back here again until the end of the era where we will go over to the next part of the Stone Age. The way you will progress to the next stage is that you have finished the goals that you want to complete, the stories you want to complete, and the events you want to complete. You can go through three or four generations, if you choose to, on just the first stage, or any era at all. It is entirely your choice how you want to play this. Okay, next we are over for timestamp two, the looking at the law and the other families that we have. So we're going to start with the one that has started everything. And probably my most heavily cheated at the moment, Sim. <laughs> so the first, so Godichal. Godichal is an old fashioned name that I found online. Uh, Godichal is the first of his kind. Where he came from, he has no idea. Immortal with the power to create life. Godichil decided to make more in his image. Will he care and nurture his creation or will he let it burn in war and destruction? So <laughs> I have a few plans of how I want Godichil to behave and it's just a little bit of fun. Please don't take this to heart if you are religious. That is Godichil. He has created everyone here so we have next let's go over to this interesting group of people so the rapid fury clan <laughs> the rapid fury clan are made up of four very big personalities what was godrital thinking when he made these that's a good question. Paranoia and evil runs through this clan. Will it taint the bloodlines or can they learn to cooperate with the other tribes and clans of the land? So I really wanted to add some theft and um, just theft and war and cheating and just disruption. <laughs> and that is what these four personalities are going to bring the one on the end is pregnant as well um so they're all, they're gonna have babies and things like that uh they do also have a wolf okay next we have the hell wolfkin uh, Edmund and Rovina are on the outskirts of this land and with that comes peace and an unknown of what else is around. Happy and content this couple farm and fish in tranquility with their beautiful wolf who protects their land. So again I just wanted to have a family that's quite peaceful, they're, they're gonna live their life but we need some extra baby makers let's face it we need baby makers so that is what they are here for so let's have a deeper dive into these sims if you would like to name the wolves then let me know down in the comments uh that would be fantastic <laughs> okay and next off for timestamp four we are looking at the mods that i currently have if you want to check all the mods in full detail out then go on the website gamingwithshar.com 
which we saw previously, where I have a full list of mods that you could potentially use and CC you could potentially use. Um, but this is just what I've chosen to use. Everything has links back to original creators. So the three that work together, of course, is the Andrew Pose Player, the Teleport Any Sim, and then a collection of poses so that we can pose our sims in different ways for different cinematics and things that we do as the stories progress. Next, we have the uh, play selectable pets, the playable pets mod, which allows us to play as the pet. We can move her around. We can get her to interact with sims. We can get her to go and explore the damn bush where she can get really sick. <laughs> We then have the MC Command Center as well as the MC Woohoo, which allows us to have risky Woohoo essentially. You could, another one I'm still debating whether or not we'll play with in the next episode with the actual gameplay is the Slice of Life. Still don't know if we're playing with that. It adds so much more realism to the game, like periods and things, but having a sim on her period not being able to use pads and things, I think it's gonna be hell. Okay, uh, I have a bunch of CC from Build and Buy mode as well as Cass. Again, that is all listed on the website. I'm not gonna go through that individually. And then I have a few different ones from Rasheen. Again, linked on the website where a lot of this is um, to do with swings um so there's a swing that we can use and there is family photos and that's going to be really important for keeping a track there is one other um thing that i would suggest any players that are potentially recording this do and that is using the website plum tree app um, i'll bring that up now and on this app you can create in-depth family trees much more than you can do on the sims with different types of relationships as well it takes a little bit of work so at the end of every episode as you get to the end screen we will have a view of the current family tree and I think that's going to be really cool to see how they progress and it's something that I wish I'd done two things I'd wish I'd done in the history challenge is the plum tree app as well as keeping all of my collectibles two things i wish i had done um and we will be doing in this okay so that is everything for today it has been a fairly long episode with lots of explanations but this is the very first episode of through the ages stone age i'm really excited to get going on this i hope you are too let me know in the comments section below the three wolf names that you want to see, they will be the first of their lines and we will keep them breeding. Not necessarily all together, more dogs and wolves will come in, but it will just be really cool to see how that develops uh, in a family tree as well. Okay, as always, if you've enjoyed this, please do like, subscribe and share and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.